Hey guys, welcome back. So we want to show you this uh, DeFi tracker that we're building. And we want to give you an overview of how it works and how to use it. So if you have been whitelisted, you should be able to go to your login. In this case, we said tipjar at Gmail and then the password. Um, yeah, there it is. Sign in. Okay. So this is going to be a fresh uh, account. It has nothing. So the first thing that you would do is go to liquidity pools and we're going to go to Spartex pools. And then we have three liquidity pools. So we're going to do take a screenshot of this. And then you add position, you drop your screenshot here. And then we have to choose the DEX, which in this case is part DEX. And then most of the time it works, but you still need to make sure that the data that it's uh, putting out is correct. So in this case, SFLR and Flare ETH. Where is Flare ETH? I don't know if we have Flare ETH. Might have to do wrapped ETH right now. Okay, yeah, let's do wrapped ETH for now. And then token amount <clears throat> 2016 and 0 0.02. That's good. Deposited value 102. That worked. And then. The minimal price, yeah, it says zero and zero because we're in a full range. So that's good. So add position and now it shows here. And then let's go to the next one, do the same thing. I'm going to take another screenshot over here. So you say add position. Same thing, we choose Spartex. It's analyzing with AI. USDT, this one did recognize it. So we have 11 and 83, that works well. The min price uh, works well as well. Uh huh. Deposited value, perfect. And then add position. Yeah, the unclaimed fee was nice too. Yeah. Okay, so this one I'm not going to open. This is only $5, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. And then we're going to go to Kinetic. And then here you need to do two screenshots, one for the primary markets. And then one for this ISO markets. So you go to borrowing and lending. You say bulk import <clears throat> primary markets. So that would be this guy. And then ISO markets, analyze and upload. You select them all. And then you import four positions. So here, as you can see, I have 10,900 S-Flare. And I have 83 USDC and 0.444 USDT borrowed. And then I don't know. Yeah, so this messed up. The ISO markets. Yeah, so that's kind of the bugs that we get sometimes. So I would like uh, delete here and delete here. And then let's just do primary markets only. And see if that works. Let's see if that worked. No, it's it's throwing it here again. Okay, we'll have to fix that. But that's the that's how it works. And then on Cyclo Finance, you there? Yeah, I'm I'm looking at that. So I I had known what my average was, and that's what I used. So I didn't go to Dex Screener because I couldn't get that data. I don't think that analyst gonna work like that. Yeah. All right. So, so this one is. Go to add position is what you need to do. The import feature screenshot doesn't work because of the way it works. So you go to add position, cyclo, whichever token. Yeah. Total locked 0 0.00139. Site token received 2.67786. Price of site token at lock. And that's where we need to go deck screener to pull that data. So let me see if I can figure it out here. So maker. There it is. So how many tokens do we get? Very interesting. So one of this is the ones that I... Huh. Well, who cares? The both price is 67 cents. That's all that matters. Right. Correct. 0.67. And price of collateral locked and talked, locked. 
So then this would be 932.21. Yep. And Nickname, then wallet, different wallets. This amount, what is this? That would be the total amount that got locked based on the quantity at that price. So this guy, this amount. Mm, no, it should be the amount of CYE at the time of lock. That's this that's what that's what it is. I'm actually figured, so just leave it alone. So zero, whatever was there originally. Uh, so everything reset it, but this okay. I can't remember what it was. To be honest. Yeah, so it'd be like the total value four dollars ninety six cents. Okay, cool. So I mean, if right now between size E being cheaper and ETH being much more expensive than it is right now. In this position, if I close it, I would make $5, which is pretty great. Like, that's amazing. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. The trading is not yet ready. And then in liquidity pools, like let's say that tomorrow you wanted to check your fees. So you would go here, update pool, pool check, open form, and then you would add your new screenshot. And then it will update your SL FLR fees, the wrapped ETH fees, and the reward flare. It doesn't work on Spark Dex, but it works on Enosis. And then you say update position, and that's it. Anything then, else you want to add? Absolutely. So, and then the other thing is, is you can add nicknames. So let's say if you got some of your positions on your Robbie wallet, some of your positions on your Bifrost wallet, you could nickname it the particular wallet or whatever you want to call it. So this way you're looking at all of your assets, not just one, one asset. And you'll know based on the name of the pool that you'll get to see what's going on. Yeah. So here, here's the notes that you put in. Very nice. Pretty cool, man. Coming a long ways. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I hope that helps uh, to get you started and then break it and then let us know what worked and what didn't work. And then um, here in your dashboard, you should have all the information. So now this is not reading again. The, the length position is not being read here or here. Uh, that's also something we need to check. And then we need to like, you need to do a few uploads to actually get like APR and, and everything. That's it, man. It's there, brother. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have fun. Break it and let us know what worked and what didn't work. And if you have any suggestions, uh, please let us know and we will try to implement them. All right, guys. Until next time.